People will say, how could we have known that things were so bad? It was so long ago. I run barefoot, shoes at the door. The air so sweet, I gulp and gasp for more. The night so still, I does, I saw. Oh, this is what I'm living for. They'll say, it's in the past, let it go. They'll tell you it's exaggerated. They'll tell you it's not so. But this begs the question, how could you not know? When the lands were stolen and the treaties were signed, when we starved out the people to keep them in line, when we wrote the new laws and the new predications and sent them away to far off reservations, how could you not know? When children were torn from their mother's arms and told they would come to no harm, and fathers pled at schoolhouse gates for knowledge of their children's fates. How could you not know? When we stole their language, stole their stories, took over all their territories, killed the Indian to save the man, there's so much blood upon our hands. How could you not know? And when they came from all around and showed such courage and stood their ground, they told us their stories and opened wounds, wounds so deep they could consume. How could you not know? And when women were taken for the slaughter, stolen sisters, mothers, daughters, when it's declared a genocide, another truth we cannot hide. How could you not know? And silently, the children lay in perfect rows and unmarked graves, in empty fields and parking lots, below RVs and trailer parks. And so I ask, all due respect, how could you not know? When history is laid out before us, it sings a truth just like a chorus, a painful song that we must hear, must not deny, demean, or fear. So pay attention and let it haunt you. Stop saying you didn't know. You just didn't want to.